Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making a card with the Lift Me Up bundle, which includes the Lift Me Up stamp set with these darling hot air balloons and these beautiful thinlet dies that coordinate it called the Up and Away thinlets. You can purchase these together in a bundle for 10% off if you buy them both together. Be sure you look for the special number uh, the item number that indicates the bundle so that you get that 10% off. Okay, so today's card, I'm just using these two hot air balloons here for this one. It's a, a note to lift someone's spirits. And let's just look at what we're going to need to create the card. I've done a lot of the stamping and die cutting to save a little bit of time. So let me just show you this. I have a Bermuda Bay base cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. A piece of the Cupcakes and Carousels Designer Series Paper Stack, cut at four by five and a quarter. Two other pieces of uh, prints from that stack. One is cut at one and a quarter by three. The other one is cut at one and a quarter by three and a half. And then here are the die cut pieces. I have three of the little clouds. I stamp those in smoky slate on very vanilla. You need probably about a three by four, three by three piece of van very vanilla cardstock to cut those. Here's a Bermuda Bay balloon stamped in Bermuda Bay ink. Okay, that would be about a three by three piece. And then maybe a two by two for this smaller hot air balloon. Now this is Peekaboo Peach, but I decided to use the Calypso Coral to make that design stop up stand out just a little bit more. Uh, so that's Calypso Coral Ink on Peekaboo Peach cardstock. Okay, first, let's take these two little strips of designer paper and our triple banner punch, and I'm just going to center those right up in the middle there. And punch. And do the same with this one. And this is just to add a little bit more color and accent to the card. And we're going to staple that right to this designer paper. So I'm just going to take this and put that Calypso Coral piece on the bottom and line it up here in the upper left corner. And I want to kind of stagger them there like that. And let me just staple just like that. Okay, now we can start building the card. So what I did is I placed my balloons where I wanted them first and then went back with my clouds. So I wanted that one peeking behind there, this one here, and then another one down here. So once I did that, I just went ahead and glued those down to keep them in place and so I could position my balloons around and over them. I'm using Tombow glue, the liquid multipurpose glue, because I can move it around a little bit before it sets well. Now I'm just going to use the same thing, same glue adhesive for the hot air balloons. Do that. And for the little peekaboo peach one. Now, I wanted to leave a space down here for the sentiment, okay? So what I have is a piece of vellum cardstock cut at one by four inches. And I am going to take the sentiment that says just a little note to, li to lift your spirits. And I'm gonna use my Calypso Coral ink. Don't wanna use, lose that vellum. It's kinda of hard to see on my white background there. And I'm going to ink that as, this up. And because vellum isn't porous, I'm going to need to emboss this. So I have my clear embossing powder ready to go, and I'm just going to practice stamp this here so I can make sure I'm getting it fairly straight. Okay, let me ink this up again. Try it one more time. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to center that on that vellum and stamp and lift straight up, just like that. Then I have my clear embossing powder ready to go. Sprinkle that over. 
then I'm going to take my heat tool, let it heat up just a bit, and emboss that image. And it just makes it a little raised and clear, but it sets that ink so it won't smear. And it looks shiny and pretty too. Okay, so now can move the embossing powder out of the way. What I'm going to do is a trick to using vellum is hiding the adhesive behind it. So I've got my mini glue dots and I'm going to take first, no, first I need my enamel shapes so that I know where to put my mini glue dots. So I'm using these in Peekaboo Peach. These are the 2016 2018 enamel shapes in color enamel shapes so I'm just going to put putting these little hearts at an angle then I'm going to take my glue dots and go behind where I on the back side where I have the hearts and so the little enamel shapes will hide the glue dots and I fold it up just a little bit to hide it behind that heart and I'm going to take it here go along the bottom and just press right there over that and then we've got that ready to go now let's go ahead and attach this to our card front and I'll show you one more thing I'm going to do looks like I need to get my bone folder out and give that base a good crease before I There we go. Now I'm going to adhere this to the front like that and have that Bermuda Bay border going all the way around. Then I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella pen and just paint those clouds so that they stand out a little bit and really makes it pretty. Okay. All right, so there's our card. Let me show you how I finished the inside of this one. I cut a four by five and a quarter piece of very vanilla, stamped that hot air balloon and a couple of clouds there, added the wink of Stella to those clouds, and then I stamped the little love note, the little note there, and uh, you can cut that out with your thinlets and just glue it inside, and so I thought that would be a really cute way to finish off the inside of the card. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Please visit my website at inkandinspirations.com. Take care, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.